Well today everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about a little advanced pinch harmonic technique. Let's get into it. Hey what's going on everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and the pinch harmonic as most of you guys know, is my favorite gimmick to do on the guitar. It's my favorite trick. It's so much fun, it's so inspiring. And every time I nail one, it, and, and it screams and it rings out perfectly, it's the most inspiring and fun thing to do on the guitar for me. So today, I want to sit down, sit down with you guys, explain a little bit of a, a creative flair that you can throw into a pinch harmonic and have some fun with it and just make it a little bit more... I don't know, just better sounding for lack of a better description, okay? Real quick, just check out this new t-shirt. Yes, I got some brand new merch I'm going to be selling at Pale Fest this year down at uh, AJ Spot at the House of Masks on October 8th. So uh, if you guys are in the Ohio area and you want to come hang out, I'd really appreciate it. It's like, what, two and a half weeks away? Right around the corner, man. So I'll be there and I'll be hanging out with you guys, okay? So now, what is this advanced pinch harmonic technique? Well, I call it the rake pinch harmonic, and I don't know if that's wrong or if that's already like a common thing i've never really heard anybody describe it but basically the name is in what you do you rake into a pinch harmonic so for example <laughs> etc that'll drive your your parents crazy kids don't do that too much but yeah dude I'm raking into it and then making it scream. So basically there's two different things going on here. If you're unfamiliar with a pinch harmonic, it's literally grabbing a harmonic with the side of your thumb when you pick. And without the rake, it just is this noise. And then you have the ability to manipulate it and, and alter the pitch with your fretting hand. Etc. That sound for me is just the coolest thing, man. You can do it on different strings, but the G string is is the best string uh, to make this ring out. But yeah, man. So that's a normal just pinch harmonic, and then the rake is literally just an atonal percussive type of sound. And depending, again, depending on where your fretting hand is, you can manipulate the sound and the pitch of the percussive nature of the raking. The dragging of your pick across the strings. Put them two to get. Put two and two together. Put them together, and uh, this is what you get. <laughs> all right, I can sit there and do that all day, and sometimes I do, man. Um, the G string is the best. The B string kind of works well too, but not nearly as good. G strings my, my favorite for this technique and there's a reason why main reason is because you need some strings to rake across prior to grabbing the note you want to hear you know like you can't do this technique on the low E string because you don't have anything to rake into prior to getting to the actual string you know you don't have anything prior to that E string so that's why you know I think the G and the B are the two easiest the D not really just the, just the G string really I think is my favorite and you notice how like every time I attempt one of these they sound different and they actually they actually don't even ring out 100% of the time all the time and I like that we're going to talk about that at the end of this video okay so basically how to practice this how to do this it's a very hard question to answer and explain but basically you got to get really proficient at a pinch harmonic and then slowly but surely incorporate this technique into when you're playing <laughs> I, in my opinion, I really think you have to be like absolutely beyond comfortable with a pinch harmonic. Like you have to master th the technique and just sit here all day and just go. Etc. Like you have to be able to call, recall a pinch harmonic at will just on its own. Like you can't still be trying to figure out that technique. Once you're beyond, you know, uh, proficient at that, then you can start to add cool guy tricks into it and just like I said, start to rake into it. So how do you do it? 
<laughs> unfortunately, the only thing that I can really say to you is just practice over and over and over and over again. You know, this isn't a technique you can set to a metronome and, and you know, practice it in time because it's not really about timing. It's not about, um, you know, structure and it's not about like being to the click and to the beat. It's a, it's a very loose kind of sloppy type of, of technique. <laughs> It gives it a little bit of stank and a little bit of, you know, just gnarliness into an already cool technique to begin with. You know what I mean? So how I would practice it personally and how I got really good at it is I would just, whenever possible, try to throw it into my favorite riffs and just be able to just attempt to just grab it every single time for years and years and years. You know, there's a song that I have called Fission that'll be re-released very soon under the Stay Metal Ray name under Spotify, Amazon Music, all that stuff. But the end solo which you guys have heard a bunch of times, is just full of this technique. And it starts out with it, and then I'll just play the first part of the solo. Etc. So that whole line of that whole first beginning part... nothing but a pinch harmonic clinic you know what i mean like i'm just grabbing them at will and i'm raking into them and, and pulling off of notes like pulling off pinch harmonic like slides it's crazy and what's cool about this technique and like i was saying we're going to talk about how like every time i do it it's different i can't grab this technique 100 percent of the time i can barely grab it like 60% of the time if I had to, you know, guess or whatever. And I like that, man. It's inspiring and it's really, really challenging and really hard to do. So therefore, it keeps it fresh for me. You know, I've been trying this technique and, and trying to master this technique for well over a decade now. And it's just like, no matter how many times I practice it, so sometimes it just doesn't work. It doesn't ring out. But when it does ring out, it's just like the coolest thing. So anytime you guys see my face light up, like when I'm playing and jamming and I grab a pinch harmonic and like, I kind of surprise myself and, and, and you know, uh, inspire myself. It's like, wow, I can't believe I did that. That was so cool. And that's why I'm always like smiling and laughing because it's like, wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. So anyway, man. Um, yeah, dude, like this technique is just a great way to just throw some flair into some and throw some variety and some stank and some gnarliness into your pinch. You see right there, I was just like sitting there trying to just grab some examples and I got maybe about seven out of 10, six out of 10. And I love that, man. I just love how like inconsistent it is because, you know, of course, I guess we would love it to be perfect 100% of the time, right? But the, the human interaction with the guitar and the instrument and the strings and my inability to be a perfect being and to like make some human errors and some mistakes is cool. It's all part of it, man. It's all part of the flair and the flavor of playing music and, and creating. But when I do sit down and just nail, you know, like an awesome... There it is, ranked pinch harmonic. It's just like my favorite thing in the world, man. So everybody, just a quick little video on my favorite technique, man. Just in order to practice it, just get really proficient at a, t at a pinch harmonic and then slowly but surely just try to rake into them and just grab them and let it scream, okay? All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for always being so supportive and kind to me. It really does mean a lot more than I think you know, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.